Today, I am going to answer a very common question. And that question is, how can a FRS radio and a GMRS radio share the same frequencies? And why do I need a license for one, but not need a license for the other, if they're on the same channels and frequencies? Now, sharp-eyed viewers may realize that I just made a video going over most of this just a few months ago, but apparently not everyone has seen that video because there seems to still be much confuculation around this subject. And oh, if you came here just because of the girl on the thumbnail and you wanna know where the girl on the thumbnail is, she's on the thumbnail. So how is it possible that this license free FRS radio and this GMRS radio can share the same frequency. And yes, for clarification, they do share the exact same channels and frequencies. Channel one on this radio is exactly the same as channel one on this radio and channel two and channel three all the way through channel 22. They are exactly the same. So how can it be that the FCCs tell you that for this radio, you don't need a license Yet, in order to talk on this radio, you do need a license. And the answer is the hardware. The reason that the FCCs tell you that you don't need a license for an FRS radio is because it has this dinky little antenna that you can't remove. You cannot attach a larger antenna to it. It can only output a maximum of two watts and it cannot connect to or use or make use of repeaters. There are other reasons, but for the purposes of this discussion, they don't matter. So for all you experts out there, please refrain from trying to leave a comment saying that there are more differences between this radio and this radio. We know that, but we don't care. Fun fact, did you know that FRS was invented by Radio Shack? It's true. A GMRS radio, on the other hand, can have a removable antenna. That means that you can connect it to an external large antenna, for example, on the roof or on the top of your car. It can transmit more power and it can make use of repeaters. And it is because of these, and as I mentioned, a few other differences, that the FCCs have decreed that in order to transmit on a GMRS radio, you must first pay them because because they said so. By the way, the price of the GMRS license has finally, after over a year, been reduced to $35. And who says Joe Biden can't accomplish anything? So there you have it. The reason that you don't need a license for this, but do need a license for this, even though they use the same channels and frequencies, is because of the hardware, because they're different. Now, there are a few other minor details that you may want to know, and I am about to enlighten you. If you have a GMRS mobile radio, such as this Wuxin Ocean KG1000G, you cannot transmit on channels eight through 14. Channels eight through 14 are known as the intersexual channels. And according to the FCCs, you may only transmit on those intersexual channels on a handheld HT radio, such as an FRS radio, or a GMRS radio, as long as it is a handheld radio as defined by the FCCs, because they say so. Because of this, most mobile GMRS radios, such as this Wuxin Ocean KG1000G, will only listen to the intersexual channels 8 through 14 and cannot transmit on them. Some radios, like this Midland MXT500, will skip those channels completely like if they don't even exist. One other point of major confuculation, mostly amongst the online experts, is that if you have a GMRS radio or even a ham radio, such as this Boofwang UV5R, all you have to do is set the power output to two watts or less, and then you don't need a license because at two watts or less, it's now just like an FRS radio, so why would you need a license? And when you see this posted online, please take a moment and let that expert know that he 
is an idiot. Because according to the FCC's, in order to transmit on a GMRS radio, thou must first send money to the FCC. Period. It does not matter what power level you use, if you use a small antenna, or if you paint it black to look just like an FRS radio, according to the FCC's, if you transmit on a GMRS radio, you must first send the FCC's their cut. So basically, an FRS radio is a hobbled version of a GMRS radio, and that is why you don't need a license to transmit on an FRS radio. If you have any questions about FRS radios or GMRS licenses, you know how this works.